Hello, this is Andrew from Titancraft. Today I'm going to show you how to kind of customize a character in Desktop Hero, which is the old version of our character creator. Um, uh, because it's an old version, it has some bugs and gotchas that uh, have been fixed in Titancraft, but it's still a powerful program that will let you create some advanced minis if you're willing to stumble through a little bit of clunkiness. So to start, um, mouse controls. Left mouse button, click and drag, will let you rotate around your character. You can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. And the right button lets you pan. Starting with the race tab, here's a bunch of different races that Desktop Hero provides that you can start with. Uh, I'm just going to do a human male for now. Oh, and you've got two options. Add to scene, which will put multiple characters in your scene, and replace scene. Once you've picked a starting character, I'm clicking the body tab up here. And you have four sub tabs, beard, body, hair, horns. All of these will let you swap out uh, parts of the character. If you want a Fire Lord Zuko, you got a burned head, scaled head, do a skull. Uh, the male and female models have an expressions head as well. And then click the, click the face on here. A red customized tab appears where you can change expressions. Um, open the eyes, shut the eyes. Make them angry, make them sad. Um, so you can get a lot of, uh, oops, get a lot of expressions that way. If you go to outfits, uh, this will let you um, swap out the entire outfit at once to see how different things look. Um, you'll notice that a lot of the outfits clip through the hair or horns. Uh, you can click on those and delete them. So we'll try the guard outfit, wizard outfit, classy suit outfit. Maybe I'll pick the swashbuckler outfit. If you go over to the clothing tab now, you get a lot of uh, different tabs for individual items that you can swap out from the outfit. So if I decide I don't want this uh, swashbuckly coat, I instead want the leather tunic, or uh, want to switch out some sleeves, um, you can do that here. Now the items tab, same kind of deal. You have a bunch of uh, different sub tabs with different types of items. To add an item to your character, just click it. And you'll see red dots appeared. Uh, those are locations where you could add the, the item. Um, and here's one of Desktop Hero's gotchas. If I click something else, say I want to put a book in the other hand, I click it, oh no, it replaced the first item rather than adding it to the second hand. If you want to add uh, a second item, you click and drag it. And you'll see the dots appear again, and you can drag it into the other hand. And then as I keep clicking around, it will replace whichever item was added uh, most recently. Posing. So here in the Pose tab, you see three tabs, Male Human Body, Male Human Arm, and you can see which arm lights up when you hover over it, and the other arm. If you click those, you'll see the, all the poses that are available for that body part. Mage Hand Out, Arm Stretched Out. I think I'm going to actually switch which hand the axe is in. Once you have a basic pose, if you want to tweak it, you can do that with uh, the advanced pose mode. Click on any mesh and select show bones on the submenu. This will uh, pop open all the bones that you can pose on the character. Red bones are bones that are the root of something. So root of the arm, root of the torso. Um, if you want to move the whole character, select the, the base bone. And here you have three options, move, rotate, and scale. Those work uh, similar to how they work in Titancraft. So if I want to um, rotate this arm so the axe is up, you just click the bone, uh, select which mode you want, and click and drag the, um, the, the little circle control. Scale, you can either scale the whole object all at once by grabbing the gray, or um, scale along a single axis by grabbing one of the colors. Move, we'll put it down a little bit. And we'll call that pose good. 
mounts and familiars tab. So uh, here we've got two sub tabs, animals and mounts. Um, if you want to give your character an animal companion, like a cat, just click it. And uh, again, all the uh, spots where you could attach it show up. Again, you'll have to click and drag if you want a second item. Oh, cute. And maybe a bird on this shoulder. <laughs> maybe not. Adding mounts to the scene. You just click it and it adds it to the scene as a separate character. So if I want this guy to be riding the mount, click and drag on his on uh, any part of the male character in the editor and drag to the red dot on the horse. Continuing on to the base tab, we've got a lot of different options for base bases here. Most of these were done by uh, Evan Carruthers, EC3D, you should check out his stuff. He does a lot of good supportless models. And there are a few in here that would also work for uh, you know, a large animal. I'm going to take him off the horse for now. I'll click unattach from horse. Delete the horse. You'll notice he's still got a funky pose. So I'm going to click reset pose and then uh, go back to the pose tab and load that one again. Uh oh, I botched it. You notice when I reset the pose, uh, it also reset this cat and this uh, um, ax. To fix that, I'm just going to click and click and hold and drop it. Click and hold it again and stick it back in the hand. And then it's loaded the pose again. I'm going to click and hold to drop the cat. Click and hold to put it back. And now we're fixed. Oh yeah, one more thing about bases. Um, you've got the main base tab, but there's also up here a base decor tab where you can uh, drag and drop other items, like this pot of ramen noodles, or a skull. This gnarled bird stand is kind of fun. You can put the stand on, and then go back to uh, the animals tab, and stick ravens or uh, owls on it. Yeah, I think that about covers the basics. So. Uh, take a little bit of time and uh, play around in Desktop Hero and you can um, create some cool stuff. I don't know, Jared. I'm not sure if this is very good. You might, <laughs> you might have to re-record it. Hey. Uh,